So we'll start off by heading over to app.js and I have created a brand new blank export application and that's done with export init and then the name of your project and then I've run npm run iOS. This will start the app on the device and at the moment, as you can see, we have a standard export app. So the first thing we need to really do at this point is get the locations from export. So let's import location and that will allow us to get the actual geolocation of the user. But before we do that, we also need to get the permissions. And that's simply because if you've noticed before on an application, if you want to use a particular feature, you have to give permission to that application. So let's make a function now and we'll call this one get location. This will be an async function and that's because it returns a promise. And what we'll do is get the status from permissions.askAsync. And you'll notice that this is an async call, so we will need to await on this. And the permission that we want to ask for is location. And you'll see if we hit the dot after permissions, we have a variety of different permissions that we can ask, but we want to use location. So this status here will be the response that we get back from this permissions call. We then need to check to see whether we were granted the permission. So if the status does not equals granted, then we can do something about that. So we may want to log this to the console, permission not granted. And at the same time, we also may want to display an error message on screen. So we could use set state to provide an error message such as permission not granted. Then up here, we can make a state variable and that state can basically have an error message at this point, which will be blank. So now at this point, we assume that if we get this far in the function that we obviously have the user's permission to get the location. So let's make a new variable called user location, and that will be equal to location dot get current position async. And you'll notice once again, this is an async function. So we will await that because it is a promise and the result of that promise will be in user location. We can then use set state once more and we can set the state, i.e. the user's location, equal to the user location. Alternatively, we could just rename this and set location just like that. I think that reads a little nicer. So what we need to do at this point, we have the user location when this function is called, but currently we aren't calling that function. We can do this in a variety of different ways. We can create a button that we have to click and usually this will be the way that you'll want to get the location from the user. You don't just want to pop up, you know, a hundred different permission boxes when the application starts. That's a great way to not get the user's permission, but in this circumstance, we will do that because it's the easiest way for us to get up and running with this example. But in your app, I recommend giving some context around the permission. So if you want to get location, tell the user why they should allow that permission call, and then of course, request that permission. So the easiest way to do this is hook into a lifecycle method, such as component will mount. And in here, all we need to do is hit this dot get location. And that function will run, it doesn't return anything. So we aren't expecting any sort of uh, response from that function at all. We can just simply call it and it should appear on screen. So let's save this file. So I've just noticed there is a slight syntax error here. We are trying to set location equal to a variable, but actually it should just be an empty object. So once we save that file, we should now reload the application. If it doesn't work, you can hit command R and you can see we get this box export needs permissions. So this is effectively our app asking for permissions at this point. 
we can allow that permission. And because I've saved it twice, I'll have to allow it multiple times. But you'll see once we now reopen the application, this app now has the permission, so we don't need to ask for it again. So this will be a once only thing. And what we can do now is inside of our text, we can bind to this dot state dot location. And what we'll do is simply stringify the result. So we can see all of the coordinates here. So we have the altitude accuracy, the accuracy, the altitude, latitude, etc. So most of the time you're going to be using the longitude and latitude here, but you have some other information surrounding that too. So that is how we get a user's location inside of Expo.